How to install WordPress in cPanel manually. Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, I'm going to quickly show you how we can install WordPress content management system using our cPanel and you know, install it without using Fantastico one-click apps. So let's go online and let's quickly learn how we can do that. Simply go to WordPress.org website and download the latest version of WordPress. Once you have the local copy, you need to extract it because it's in zip file. Now, once it's extracted, it looks like this, right? So this is the folder structure. This is what makes WordPress work. So we need to upload all these files um, you know, manually to our web hosting account. I'll show you how we can do that in a minute as well. So let's go to our cPanel and let's do a couple of things first. Because for WordPress to work, we need to create a MySQL database where WordPress files or details can reside in. Create a new database and name it anything you want. Keep a note of the database name and then go back and create a user for that database. Give it a password and then create the user. Now, before we move on, realize that the username that we've created with a password, take a note of this new username and password because we will need that later on. So let's go back to MySQL databases again. What we need to do is we actually need to attach that user that we created to the database that we created. So simply locate that option in your cPanel database um, menu here, as we can see. Yours may look different, but we still need to attach these details together. So let's do that by pressing Add. Now to simplify things, let's just choose all privileges. Basically what that's saying is this user can basically do anything on this database. Surely you can read more about user privileges, but I'm not going to cover that for this tutorial. So let's make the changes so that we've got the bases covered now. Once again, keep a note of your username and database and that password. For simplicity, I've already gone ahead and done that for this tutorial. So this is the database name the user for that database and a password for that user. Now what we have to do is simply go to our cPanel file manager, press on file manager and go to our home directory. Then we simply locate public underscore HTML folder this is where your website resides in, you know, from the front end. So when someone types your domain name into the address bar, whatever is within this folder, that is what they are going to see. And for us to install WordPress manually, we actually have to upload all the files and folders that make up WordPress. Now at this stage, you know, doing that manually as in uploading all those files, will take hours. So therefore, let's simplify the process by using FTP program called FileZilla. Simply download it. So all you do is download the version that suits you. You don't have to type in and become a, you know, type in your email, become a subscribe, subscriber here. You can actually download it by direct link by simply pressing on it, okay? So once the program is downloaded to your local computer, all you do is install it. Because when you do, it'll actually look like this. 
All you have to do is go and locate file menu option and press on site manager. Once you do that, insert your domain name here. You can leave the port empty because it will work that out by itself. Um, you can surely choose different encryption protocols. Let's just use uh, plain FTP because it's a new domain or new installation. For logon type, um, you, you can give the details for an FTP account that your web hosting service provided for you. So simply choose logon type account, give the username and password for your web hosting. Okay, and then you simply press OK because now we'll be able to log on manually as in using FileZilla. Okay. So what I've done is for this tutorial I created this sample for you, but I also actually have a different um, details here. So let me cancel this so that we can log on properly. So all you do is log on to your web hosting account and press on this little plus icon and locate public underscore HTML folder. Press on that. Now simply locate the WordPress content management system you downloaded locally. So all we do is we find that folder we downloaded and open this here. What we now have to do is select all these files and folders, select them all either one by one. You can grab and drag if you want. You can grab and drag if you want or you can press on a folder or file and press on shift on your keyboard and select all of them and then drag and drop or you can right click and upload so what's going on now is our WordPress content management system files and folders are being uploaded to our web hosting account to demonstrate the point let me show you now this is where the files are being uploaded if we refresh you'll see the first folder is being uploaded right now so this may take a minute or two and while that's being uploaded let me show you an important element as we can see FileZilla shows us what's being successfully transferred or at times some files may fail that transfer if that's the case keep an eye out on this and when everything is successfully transferred then you know we're good to go for our next step. If not, simply re-upload whatever file to transfer, okay? Now everything is uploaded and there are no file transfers. What we need to do is locate WordPress config sample file and actually rename it. Let's rename it. And let's hit return now the file looks like this all we do is we need to edit the file let's edit it now this is where the database name database username and the password we need to insert that right now that was our database name the user for that database just simply copy and paste or type it down if you please and password is that now what we need to do is copy this URL and open that up in a new tab because we're gonna then see all these random salt keys here these to do with security it is very important that you actually go to this URL and generate these random um, details and then copy as in delete the one that is empty there 
and include your own version of these random keys, okay? Because it'll be unique to you only. Now, before we move on, it is very important that, you know, you can leave things at default, but most hackers, they actually rely on the defaults of WordPress, meaning, you know, you want to keep yourself safe as possible. So therefore, never leave things at default. Table prefix should be changed to something that is more desirable for you. You can say my WordPress underscore um, just some some random something, right? So make sure don't just use the default. Also, while we're here, let's also paste this helpful housekeeping couple of lines of code. As we can see, what we're saying, you know, empty the trash after seven days. Revisions, uh, just only keep two of them so that, you know, our maintenance becomes easier, okay? But I tend to use this all the time to make things easier for me for maintaining my WordPress files and folders and databases and so on, okay? All we now have to do is hit save. Now, that saved, all you then have to do is go to your domain and refresh. And voila, WordPress is installed. What we now have to do is simply give title for our site. Now, the username at this stage has, you know, it is to do with the front end, you know, the, to log into the dashboard. So simply never use things like this. Okay, it's not smart. Instead, use a unique username to log on to your dashboard. At this stage, you can allow search engines to index the site, or you can simply uncheck this and modify it when you log in to the front end. Okay, let's uncheck it, but I can easily check it. It's up to you. It's to do with if you want your site to be indexed by Google and other search engines. And simply install WordPress. Now, it is actually doing its magic. That's why WordPress is very popular. As you can see, you know, in five minutes, you basically installed your WordPress site. And you simply log in using the same credentials as you've given on this screen. In our example, our unique username was that. Password is a strong password. Simply log in. And voila, you're logged into your dashboard. You can save the password. And you can visit the site. And that's how simple it is to install WordPress manually. Always keep an eye out on the updates and always keep your WordPress up to date. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you haven't checked out the membership site, please do so here. Especially if you have a WordPress content management system. Because I have great videos including how you can easily learn about WordPress as well. Thank you for learning with me. I'll talk to you in the next video session.